Welcome to the Just Bake channel. This is a channel where we do things and say stuff. Lil Matches here, recapping the Ultimate Madness 3 tournament as uh, week one, round one has just passed. Prep versus Swave Seva. One of the newer cats in the game versus one of the uh, veterans of the game. This was an interesting styles clash where Prep is more hype, more of an excited, more of an aggressive rapper, I would say, versus Swave Seva, who still has aggression in his bars, but he's not necessarily a um, fast, quick rapper. He's more of a um, steady and still has some potency to him. So this was this was one of them, man. This was hard to judge, but it, it, it was a nice back and forth on it. Also, some controversy on this one with who did win and the... I think you're always going to have people that say, eh, no, 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 that's that's not really what it was. But the internet seems not to be too, too happy with the winner on this one. But let's go round by round. Round one, prep. Came out the gate breaking down how Swave Seva is pretty much a nobody. Been here forever. One of the weird things, too, is a lot of rappers rap to Smack, which is interesting. Like, instead of the, to the kid, and because Smack, especially for this one, he isn't a judge, but obviously he's you know, the main man through the entire organization. But a lot of rappers rap to smack like he can help them, which is interesting. But, and, and both of the rappers in this battle did that. But Prep goes on about how Swave Seven's a nobody. Look why they, they, they never give you any big rappers to rap against. All that, you've been here forever. You never got no big paydays, all that. One of the hot bars was um, paraphrasing, of course, but how... You were, you know, he's talking to Swave, explaining how you were here before everybody, blah, blah, blah. You were here before the T-Rexes, you Ice Age, which, nice little double entendre, you're as old as, you know, Head Ice and Ice Age, T-Rex with dinosaurs, all that. Brings up his podcast, uh, without restore order, you wouldn't be relevant, nobody would talk to you, that. Prep did get cut off for time in this one, you know, going, 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 good first round, all that. Swave 7, his first round, shitting on Prep changing his image which that's an angle that Swave took a good amount in this battle. But shitting on Prep for changing his image, uh, excuse me, image, came in the game, harmless saint, dressing like Carlton Banks, that shit. One thing Swave, I will say, dope battle rapper, of course, did show his age in this. Came with a couple of old school bars. Talking about a gun, this bitch kicked better than Chung Lee. Like, man, come on. I mean, Street Fighter 2 bars, we... It, Come on, we can't do that. Knock a portion off your top, looking like you're rocking a Gumby. Can't, can't do that. Straight round though, but like, like I said, just definitely a couple of <laughs> two old school bars. The bars were just a little bit too far back, but still a, a straight round. Second round prep bars about Swave Seva, how his uncle is a detective and his father is a karate teacher. As soon as prep says father. Swave says, watch your mouth. That was interesting. Hit a note, of course, nobody wants their father talked about, but it was interesting to see a little bit of a, a, a real emotion out of Swave out of that. Prep definitely went in on a good amount of his rounds were spent talking about how old Swave Seva was. I should smack you in the mouth. Old ass brother, you probably got plastic on your couch. Those type of bars. Uh, you're five years away from putting your teeth in a glass. Shit like that. Not a bad round once again, but a lot of it was the one side of joint and it's tough too because especially in judged battles you're gonna have more personal bars because you're trying to beat that other rapper there, there really can't be too many just generic bars just generic battle bars a lot of it has to be that you're going to beat your actual opponent so I think for a lot of these cats it might be their not not first time but it's a different type of battle because it does have to be more focused. So, so that's something to look at and to keep, you know, in mind while watching these. It, it is different than a normal just battle for battle's sake. Second round, Swave Seva hotline about Bernie Madoff. If you know Bernie Madoff, that basically ripped off so much of Hollywood and uh, Ponzi scheme with a bunch of money. Uh, have you die in the middle of your sentence like Bernie Madoff? If you know Bernie Madoff was in jail, died in the middle of a sentence. That was a hot bar. Swave in a second talks again about how Prep changed his image. More Carlton Banks bars, something you got to deal with. Talks about how his image changed once again. Talking about the bow ties, things like that. Because yeah, Prep did come on on a different different image than he is now. Winter Soldier bars. In the first round, Swave had bars about Thanos and Loki and 
Marvel bar, something we got to deal with. So he went there. He had good bars, but it wasn't super clean. I'll say Swave definitely had, I don't want to even say performance anxiety because you're, you're up there battling, you're doing your thing, but he definitely had stumbles to where not everything was as clean as it could have been. It was dope, but not everything was, you know, it wasn't a perfect, like, boom, I've knocked out my round, I went through it. But still, straight, good round from both of them. Third round, prep. Prep went off in the third round. I, I enjoyed his third round. Once again, though, a, a lot of, there wasn't really any difference to the material. And I will say from both of these battlers, there really wasn't a difference in the material from all three rounds. Third round, prep, all that karate. Uh, you teach, now you're the one on the chopping block. The chrome raise, 44, pick someone your own age. The karate and the age, karate and the age. And I understand you got to write about the other person, but it was, um, yeah. Even if me and Seva ties, we go our own separate ways, shit like that. But the aggression in the third round from prep was dope. He really put aggression into uh, what he was saying, and you could tell that his third round, to me, was his round that he had the most memorized and uh, was the most excited to spit. He really had um, aggression and delivery, super aggressive round, and he probably had the uh, line of the battle in this shit, I'll turn 15 minutes of fame to one moment of silence. Probably the best, you know, bar to battle. I would say easily the the, the best bar to battle. Third round on um, Swave Seva talking about prep lied in another battle to try to get ill will caught up and he had a pretty dope scheme about how he was accusing prep of breaking a girl's rib and shorty ain't fake all that god took rib from man to make a woman now you're trying to take yours back pretty dope you know bible bar something you got to deal with once again in the third round bow tie i believe bow tie was mentioned all three of swave severs line when you know went from a bow tie to a four fight like and in the third round swave rapping a smack a lot that's it's just one of those things that you know it, it's just noticeable and i guess part of it's in the performance you rap to smack interesting battle uh, eventually they gave the battle to prep i think this is the one that went to the fan vote and because it was tied up and then they eventually went to the fans and the fans voted for prep. i'm not sure and like i said online they weren't thrilled with that prep goes on to the next round he did good in the first round. We'll see how he does in the second one, man. Um, click all the links down below. Like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned. Let's get to the next one.